We start today's roundup with Robotnik Returns 2. This hack automatically puts you in control of Knuckles with Tails accompanying. There's some nice tile set blending on offer here, which makes the stages look quite original. It's not ideal, as obviously the whole thing would look a lot better if it had wholly original art, but this is a nice workaround that gives us a unique vibe. Gameplay wise, this is very much a traditional Sonic game, except we have some new abilities. Knuckles can punch enemies and also do a flashy downward drill attack, which essentially adds some new methods to attack enemies. They're not particularly essential because sadly, the stage design isn't very good. Firstly, it doesn't make an effort to put enemies in positions where you'll actually use your new abilities, and secondly, it's just a bit bland. There's no real standout gimmicks or areas in this hack, which is a real shame because there's definitely the makings of something better in here. Next up we have Sonic 3 & Knuckles Special Stage Rebirth. This whole hack essentially boils down to Sonic 3 & Knuckles with new, more difficult special stages. Oh joy! I really don't know what to think about this hack. I suppose if you wanted a more challenging special stage experience, then this hack is probably for you, but is anyone really that interested in Sonic special stages? They've never really been a big draw, and I suppose that's why things like Blue Sphere are relegated to weird mini-games that you unlock with certain cartridges. On the whole, this hack feels like an unnecessary experiment with an element of the Sonic games that have never really been that interesting to begin with. Finally, we're dealing with Savok in Sonic World, which is basically this rather unique experience. Uh, I don't know what to say about this really. It's just Sonic 1 with Sonic replaced by a chav's face, and the bosses look like this. Alright mate, I guess this appeals to someone, but it certainly isn't me.